It's January 29, 1989. My son, Enrique, does not understand. It's not by choice that I am leaving Honduras. It's a necessity. We have no future. I have no husband, and I scrub people's laundry in the muddy river just to buy a little food for him and his sister. I can't afford pencils or uniforms for them for school. I'm out of options. There's only one place that offers hope. I have to leave. I have to go to the United States and make money to send home to my children. I'll only be gone a year. It's for them that I must go. It's January 29th, 1989. My mother's not talking to me. She's not looking at me, so I cling to her pant leg. She says to me, don't forget to go to church this afternoon. Then she steps off the porch and walks away. I cry, where is my mom? I'm five years old, and I don't know that my mother will never return to our home in Honduras. I don't know that this moment will determine my fate in life. It's May 21st, 2000. It's been 11 years since I last saw my mother. I've changed since she left me, but I know she wants to see me. I'm her son. I'm her Enrique. I've made poor choices over the last few years, but none of that matters now because I'll see my mother soon. I've made eight attempts to travel from Honduras to the U.S. border. I've traveled nearly 12,000 miles. I've encountered gangs, bandits, corrupt cops, and other kids like me journeying to find our parents. I've ridden and survived the train of death. I've faced death on multiple occasions, and I have survived. Now all that stands between me and seeing my mother is the last part of my journey. The only thing that separates me from the U.S. is the dreaded voyage across the Rio Grande. Will I survive? Can I endure this last part of my journey? How will it feel to be reunited with my mother after being apart for so long? Will she remember me? Will she like the man that I've become? Find out the answers to all these questions and more when you read Enrique's Journey, the story of a boy's dangerous odyssey to reunite with his mother by Sonia Nazario.